What up, AKB for our. So we got SF9, so beautiful. So the last music video that they had was SF9's Fanfare, which was their debut, and it was an awesome sounding song with that cool PVC pipe sound that was going on. This song is probably gonna be a bit different because it's near winter, and they also have two ornaments and stars and the background's pink. So I'm expecting this to be way softer, which is kind of nice because I wanna hear their ranges. We already heard their hype range, they let people know who they are, and now they're chilling people out who are, you know, coming home from work. This guy. So let's get right into it. Sounds like Christmas. Ah! <laughs> this is nothing like fanfare. <laughs> ah! Sort of like what everybody does when they wake up. Or maybe just me. I like it. You get the harmonizations going. <laughs> this one who's singing right now, I think I like his voice the best. His. To me, it's the one I feel like will probably have the most impact, like for doing something heavy, like saying something heavy. <laughs> oh, that looks good. Why is he crying? That's not what he likes. I like this, like, I think this is the chorus. <laughs> okay, so they keep on shaking that crystal ball, like, it's, is it magical? Oh, it makes your friends appear. See, my problem is, is I think I would use that to mess with my friends. Totally would. I know they're on a date with a girl, just shake it. <laughs> totally would do that. <laughs> oh no, he's just crazy! <laughs> they're his imaginary friends. I'm gonna call them the spirits of Christmas. Oh, he looks so sad. Okay, I don't understand the red noses though. He has lipstick on. He totally has lipstick on. You know, I hated Christmas music, but I think this is an exception. They did their goal. They trapped him inside the mystical snow snow globe. That was the goal all along. Be one of us. So, okay, this was completely different than Fanfare, which is a good thing because it shows their range. And I think one of the most important things to realize is it's harder, I would say, to pull off one of these songs in my eyes, to make it not generic, and here's the reason why. In order to do a song like this, you have to keep your ranges very low, right? Where nothing really goes high or super low, it's just in that mid-range. The thing is, is when you're a talented artist, everybody in your group can normally hit that range, where, you know, it's, it's very hard to really, I guess, show the distinctness of each member. So, one of the difficult things that has to be accomplished is really accenting the voice itself. Not the ranges it can hit, but the voice itself and how it can harmonize with other vocals in the group. So that's what was shown in this music video, for instance. 
is it's able to show how well they're able to harmonize with each other while keeping it on a lower level. It's a Christmas song. They're not going to be like, Merry Christmas, like SF9's Fanfare did. However, the beginning of this song did sound familiar. It sounded like that American song, American Christmas song that goes like, All I Want for Christmas is You. You know the one I'm talking about? Because I felt like I could, I was saying the lyrics of that song in my head over the beginning beat, but then the rest of it deviated into what I guess is SF9 style. Not my favorite song because I'm the Grinch and I hate Christmas music, but I can appreciate it for what it was. There's still a very new group, so it's not a bad song at all. It's very hard to be super different with Christmas songs, so for what they got, I think they did a good job in really just showing the different vocalists' voice in instead of like how high or low the ranges was. Because it was the one individual, uh, I could distinctly hear his voice and I was like, that guy has like a heavy voice. It sounds like it could be very, very uh, useful in hyping people up or really getting those strong or gritty notes in like a, a more intense song, like in Fanfare. Because I bet you if I go back to Fanfare, I can point his voice out directly. Anyway, what did you guys think of the song? Are you Grinches like me and not really like Christmas music? Do you love Christmas music and are like the anti-Grinch, so like Santa himself? Are you Santa? Let me know down below, and also leave any more suggestions down below as well, and until next time, peace.